Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn the use of the powerful measure directive in LTSPICE for maximum power transfer measurements. Measure is a SPICE directive which can be used to measure various circuit quantities in LTSPICE simulations. The main steps in this regard are shown here. We place the measure SPICE directive on the schematic. We configure it using the measure statement editor. After running the simulation, the results can be seen in the SPICE error log file. Let's see these steps in action for this given circuit of interest. Recall from circuit theory that when the load resistance RL is 0 ohm, the power dissipated in the load is 0 as the voltage across the load is 0. When the load resistance RL has an infinite ohm value, then the power dissipated is also 0 as the current in the load is 0. We can use Thevenin equivalent circuit technique to find the value of the load resistor that will draw maximum power from the source. Setting RL equal to R Thevenin draws the maximum power from the source circuit and the value of the maximum power transferred to the load is given by this formula shown here. The proof of this result is easily available in elementary circuit theory textbooks. For the given circuit of interest, it can be shown that the Thevenin equivalent circuit is as shown. The derivation of this result is available in another video in this channel. The link is provided at the end of the video. Using the Thevenin equivalent circuit and setting RL equal to R Thevenin, it can be shown that the maximum power transferred in this case is 1.68 watts. This is the given circuit of interest constructed in LT Spice. The current control current source is simulated using part name F with the controlling current obtained using a zero volt test DC voltage source acting as an ammeter. This technique is explained in detail in another video in this channel and the link is provided at the end of this video. Here we are running a DC operating point simulation. Also we are varying the value of RL using the step command from 1 ohm to 5000 ohm in increments of 10 ohm. When we simulate, we can obtain the results. We can obtain the voltage across RL by bringing the cursor to this node and left clicking. We can plot the current by bringing the cursor over the resistor and left clicking. On a Windows computer, we can hold the ALT key and when we left click on the resistor, we can plot the power. We can click here to enable the cursors. We can vary this cursor to see that when the resistance is 1.86, when RL is 1.86 kilo ohm, the maximum power transferred is about 1.68 watts. Rather than using cursors, we can use the measure directive to determine the value of the maximum power transferred directly. To place the measure directive on the schematic, go to Edit and select SPICE directive. In the dialog box that opens, type .meas, making sure SPICE directive is selected, and then press OK. This places the measure directive on the schematic. Right click on it, and this will bring up the measure statement editor dialog box. We can configure the measure directive as follows. 
In applicable analysis, we select the type of simulation we are running. In our case, we select OP, which is DC operating point. In the result name, we specify name of variable for saving the output of the measure directive. In, the, in our case, we can use max P, which is short for maximum power transfer, as the result name. In genre, we select the type of measurement operation to perform. In this case, we will select the max function. In measured quantity, we can specify a node voltage or a current, or in our case, an expression of voltage times current, which gives us the power. For measurements over an interval, the trig and the tag points can be defined along with their associated parameters. We will look at an example of this later in this video. If left blank, these points revert to the start and the end of the simulation data. More details about these options is available on the LTSPICE help page. This is the LTSPICE schematic with the measure directive to find the value of the maximum power transferred. The load resistor is connected between ground and node N002. This node information is visible in the bottom left corner. The current through RL can be specified using the syntax IRL. We have configured the measure directive as shown. The measured quantity is the voltage times the current, which is the power dissipated in the load resistor. And we want to find the maximum value of that. When we run, we can now go to view spice error log. This is showing that in the range for RL from 1 to 5000 ohm, the maximum power transferred is 1.68 watts. In addition to the maximum power transferred, the measure directive can also be used to find the power for a particular value of the load resistance. To do this, we use the find command and specify the desired value of RL here. This generates the following measure directive which can be placed on the schematic. In this case, when we run the simulation, the measure directive reports that for RL50 ohm, the power dissipated is 0.16 watt, which is less than the maximum power transfer, uh, maximum power transfer as expected. The output of one measure directive can be used as input to another measure directive. This can be used to find the range of load resistances for a given power transfer constraint. Suppose we wish to find the range of RL for which the load power is at least 90% of the maximum power. To do this, we insert a second measure directive, which takes max P value stored in the result name max P as input coming from the first directive. For this second measure directive, we define a result name and select the interval option. We define the trig and the targ points as points when power is 90% of its maximum value. In order to trigger the measurement, we select rise and 1 for the trig point. Rise means that the rising trig value equals the right hand side. 1 means that the first time the right hand side is met. We select fall and last for the trig point. Fall means that the falling tag value equals the right hand side. 
Last means the last time the right hand side is met. We can leave the TD or time delay option blank here as it is not applicable. However, we must supply these other conditions and these cannot be left empty. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these settings in more detail. This is the LT SPI schematic with the two measure directives. The first SPICE directive measures the maximum power transferred. The second directive accepts the output of the first directive as input and finds the range of RL. When we run the simulation, we can examine the results by going to view SPICE error log. This first line is showing that the value of the maximum power transferred to the load is 1.68 watts. This is the same output as before. This second line is the new output. This line is showing that when RL varies from about 970 ohm to 3.59 kilo ohm, then the load power is within 90% of its maximum value and this corresponds to a range of approximately 2600 ohm. Finally, we can also use the measure directive to find the load resistance for maximum power transfer. However, since measure directives are applied in post-processing, the accuracy is limited by the accuracy of the simulation data. To find the value of RL for maximum power transfer, we use the find option. The measured quantity is RL. We use the when option and specify the value of the maximum power transfer. If we use the exact value 1.68, the measure directive fails to return any output due to numerical accuracy limitations. Hence, we use a value which is slightly less than 1.68. This is the LT SPI schematic showing the implementation. We can run the simulation and then look at the results. We can see that the value displayed here is about 20 ohm less than the true value of 1.867 kilo ohm. The accuracy of this result can be improved by decreasing the step size of RL variation and also by fine tuning the value shown here. There is in fact a more accurate method available in LT SPICE to find the load resistance for maximum power transfer. The link to that video is provided at the end of this video. In summary, in this video we have discussed the usage of the measure directive to find the values associated with maximum power transfer. The use of the measure directive avoids the need to place and drag cursors and read the data values of the plots. The measure directive gives us the value directly. The videos mentioned earlier in this video are linked here. I hope this video is helpful to your learning. Thank you for watching this video and supporting this channel.